Also breaking tonight, as scared as suburban strip malls, police detonate what appeared to be a pipe bomb. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Kate Kogiran, live at the scene in Marionette Park. Kate? Well, Alan and Kathy, we spoke with the owner of Tobacco City where the fake pipe bomb was thrown into, and he told us he believes there are at least two suspects involved, and we are still waiting official confirmation, but the owner said police told him one of those suspects has turned himself in. That was the sound of the Cook County bomb squad detonating what ended up being a fake pipe bomb someone threw inside this Tobacco City near 115th in Kedzie. Marionette Park Police say they got the call just after 5.30 p.m. and immediately started evacuating the area. Sergeant John Bruce said the suspect who threw the device appeared to be young and wore a hoodie. Open the door, threw, uh, tossed the device into the store and ran uh, eastbound from the scene. And that's when a patron inside the store picked it up because it was beeping, got scared, and threw it outside the store. Susan Tuxford was working at the H&R block next door when police told her to get out. We're preparing taxes for a client, and all of a sudden one of our associates goes yelling down the thing, you got to get out, you got to get out. Tuxford said she spoke with the owner immediately after it happened. He just said that it, it was just, you know, it was just something that looked like a Pringles cap taped up and that it was just making a ticking sound. Meanwhile, neighbors nearby still shocked over the news. That's kind of scary because, like, it's just, I'm right there, bomb. Now, again, this was a fake pipe bomb right now. It is unclear if or why this shop was targeted. The good news in all this is that nobody was injured. Reporting live in Marionette Park, Kate Cogier and ABC7 Eyewitness News.